Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about register transfer language and register transfer in computer architecture course and computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several academic examinations. In this video, we have to discuss about some important points. The first one is what is micro operation? Second one is examples of micro operations. Third one is how can you say that the internal hardware organization of a digital computer is the best? And fourth one, what is register transfer language? And fifth one, what is register and how can you represent the registers? And the seventh one is what are the symbols we have to use that can be in register transfer language? And eighth one, what is the hardware logic circuit we have to use to perform the register transfer? These are the points that we have discussed in this video. First of all, what is micro operation? Suppose we are taking any operation such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. To perform that operation, we require operand data. That operands are stored either in registers or are in memory. Instead of storing the operand data in memory, they can also stored in registers. Now we have to perform the operation that can be performed on the data that is stored in registers. So then it can be called as micro operation. Simply we can say that a micro operation is an elementary operation that can be performed on the information stored in one or more registers. Next one, the operations that can be performed on the data stored in the registers can also be called as micro operation. Next one is how can you say that the internal hardware organization of a computer is best? By using three points, we can say that the internal hardware organization of a digital computer is best. First point, how many number of registers it contains and what is the function of each and every register? Second point is how many number of sequence of micro operations that can be performed on the binary information stored in the registers. Third point, what is the control we have to use to initiate the sequence of micro operations. So by using that three points, we can say that the internal hardware organization of a digital computer is best. Next one, what are the examples of micro operations? The examples of micro operations are shift operation, count operation, clear operation and load operation. So to perform the operation, the operand data is stored in the registers. Okay, by using that data, we have to perform the operation, then that operation can be called as micro operation. Next one, what is a register transfer language? The symbolic notations used to describe the micro operation transfers among the registers can be called as 
register transfer language. Simply we can say that by using some symbolic notations we have to perform the micro operations that can be performed on the information stored in the registers. So for that purpose we have to use one language that language is register transfer language. Okay. In the register transfer language, we have to use some symbolic notations. By using that symbolic notations, we have to perform several number of micro operations. To perform that operations, we have to use the information stored in the registers. Next one. What is a register transfer? So, to perform the register transfer, we have to use some hardware logic circuit. By using that hardware logic circuit, we have to perform the specified micro operations by using the data stored in the registers. Once the operation is completed, the result is also stored in the same register ORR in the another register. So that can be called as a register transfer. Up to now, we have to discuss about what is micro operation, what are the examples of micro operation, how can you say that the internal hardware organization of a digital computer is the best by using these three points. What is a register transfer language? and what is register transfer. So these are the points up to now we have to discuss. In the next we have to discuss how to represent the registers, what are the symbols we have to use in the register transfer language and how register transfer can be done by using hardware logic circuit and its 